What is up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. They call me Phenomenal. Uh, today, we're going to be jumping on The Wolf Among Us, Episode 3. It is Telltale Thursday. Um, <clears throat> I've been waiting I've been waiting all week to kind of play this. I really did enjoy this game a lot. Um, we're going to be jumping back in, Episode 3, The Crooked Mile, you guys. Or A Crooked Mile. Whoopsie. Um, I'm, I'm pretty stoked about this. I'm pretty excited. Let me get everything geared up here before we go live. Oh, last we saw... It was revealed that Ichabod Crane was the reason that uh, Lily, Lily was dead. He had uh, been having some sick fantasies, if you will. Awesome sauce. We're gonna be jumping back in. <laughs> sick fantasies about Snow White. So we're gonna be jumping back in. Uh, episode three. Every Thursday, uh, I'll be playing for pretty much all of 2020. I'll be playing a Telltale episode uh, every single Thursday, uh, starting with The Wolf Among Us. Obviously, Wolf Among Us Two. I'm super excited for. I can't wait for it to come out. Um, I'm not quite sure which one I'll be playing next. I, I got a couple, couple of Telltale games I'm tossing around, but uh, I'll be playing some Telltale games. Uh, if you're watching me here on Twitch, I'm Phil Nominal too. If you're watching me on YouTube, I'm Phil Nominal, and you can follow me on Twitter for all the latest updates on my channel at Phil Nominal too. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna be jumping into this right now. <clears throat> Our stories used to be so simple. Oh, I can't wait we for this. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. God, I forgot Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, she used Nerissa, to be the Little Mermaid. I've got some questions. Open arms. Oh my god. What is it? <gasps> Do the it's look on his face. Great. It's just sheer holy crapness. It's like, oh my god. God, I love this game. So I've actually beaten this on the PS3 uh, back in the day, but I picked it up a little while back on PS4. I've just been slowly, slowly playing through it every Thursday. Oh my god, I love this. That fucking creep. Spineless little fucking rat. Crane? Ugh. God, you'd think you'd know a person. Right? Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. He's like, Ugh. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Not now. I have a right to know. If my wife is... Honey... Shit! Crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's, it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took her to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Big B. Maybe calm down just a little, like Wait. you know, like maybe just a little bit calm down, Big B. He's tripping balls. <clears throat> what? Snow's. Snow's been through a lot. Things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful when you tell her. And you should tell her. But I know. No, you don't know. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just yeah, that's remember true. that. He's just so concerned about her. But like she can take care of herself, sort of. Like she's She's super misindependent, but man, oh man. <laughs> oh, 
Welcome to Wolf Among Us, you guys. It's Telltale Thursday. I'm excited. I'll be playing, uh, probably playing Spyro Year of the Dragon after this. I've been tossing around a couple games in my backlog, trying to destroy some games on my vacation. The staycation vacation. Love it. Here we go. And here's Snow White. This is not the place to even mention anything about Crane. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. Don't interrupt. People she trusted and cared for. This is a funeral. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. But I also know that, that the memory I'll miss of worrying about will you. sustain as I'll miss our fights. And it will, I'll miss in you. time, Holly. equal in strength to our mourning her loss. Almost looks like a Skyrim helmet, and doesn't it? it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk it's about. Not, but you know what I mean. What you've all been so great now you will never die from indifference or lead a tedious she life. Could be stubborn Goodbye, and sweetheart. patient. Thanks for Rash everything. And thoughtful. Vivian. Oh, she carried a torch for the old ways. For tradition. For... I'm gonna share this out real Pageantry. fast. I forgot to share this with my friends. All, it seems how Lily Here loved, dearly loved her friends and family. She loved being around. You were a big, bright, shining star in this shithole of a town, and I miss you told. already. I know Ran. in my heart that she would yeah. have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. Hey, what's up, Pez? How we doing? I just started, up, uh, I'm only like seven minutes in. I'm not very far. Fun stream you guys did earlier, by the way. Is everything okay? No, it's all good. No, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Bigby could do anything about it. Are you serious? I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Bigby gives a shit about this. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Big Big cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure I'm just he has shit a very it. good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I... I know, but... This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. I came here to talk to Snow about this. No, screw that. My sister's dead, and I don't give a shit who she looked like when it happened. It's not about her. It's about Lily. Just tell us who it was. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? I'm not just gonna sit here Please, and... Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but... Just let us do our jobs first. Please. Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. I mean... She was disguised as... Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for Jesus. It, I want you the fuck out of here. Of course. I won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. I have to tell Snow right here.
Okay, you think you know who the killer is. What have you got? <coughs> Sorry. Higby? <coughs> Crane murdered Lily. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. And I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. The bed was covered in blood. I know it was him. This <coughs> is... Oh. I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. I'm trying to You're handle this gently. sure this is what happened? <coughs> this is oh, what man. he's been doing? Let me die real fast. Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him... He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Yeah, I didn't want to Look, show her. Let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Yeah, I agree. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? No. Two minutes. I yeah. don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't this take can, long. This can wait. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you Not find great. anything? No? I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Larissa. I'm trying to tell them as little yeah. as possible so that nobody like Coming. freaks out. I'm like just because. I forget how like on edge this game can make me. Constable. Or any of the uh oh. Wait, 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 snap. easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. What are you doing here? That is the question, isn't it? Or at least a question. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. How about you do? So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. You don't do this here. This shit at a funeral. We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours? Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very <clears throat> sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? Settle down, settle down. Yeah, everyone just stay where you are. Nice and natural. Stop this shit. Right now. He hasn't exactly been a good sport about this. Not making our lives any easier. What did I tell you? What did I say? Holly? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you can just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. Not you really. fucking freaks are not getting away with this. <clears throat> Holly, don't move. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. Oh, fucking I'm hell. I'm gonna kill you! Shit. Shit. No, shit! I got it, dumb! Shit, Holly, dude! I don't remember this shit happening at all last time. Fuck! Dude, 
fucking. Oh, I'm gonna beat the shit out of here. Shit! Oh, dude, I hope they're okay. Fuck. Dude, shit. Please tell me she's okay. Fuck. No, are you serious? Fuck. Yeah, no, I, I'm thinking that. Like, holy hell, dude. This did not happen. I must have agreed with him last time. In order to defuse the situation. Shit, dude. Not good. Not good at all. And now I'm just like... <laughs> I'm not standing down at all. I'm <laughs> just like, screw you guys. I should have... Man, oh... Oh, we're back in the Wolf Among Us, you guys. Pez, I need to actually ask you guys uh, what I'll be streaming next uh, from the Telltale Games, actually. I have a couple games lined up, obviously, but uh, I'm debating on which one to play. Shit. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're going to be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. Shit. I should have just agreed. <clears throat> and then lied about it. Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it? Say yes. They're fine. Oh, thank God. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Mm. Crane's the gonna titans, pay for this. They'll be fine. <clears throat> Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. <laughs> Everything in moderation. <laughs> and uh, eat more chicken. I'll try to. All right, then. Very good. It's like I'm trying to change, but like... Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Yeah, we're gonna take control thing. Big B. So, to recap. Mm-hmm. Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. <laughs> Not about cover it. Or Buffkin. Once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. By then he could be long gone. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just... Wait for the mirror. It's gotta be somewhere Crane yeah. would lay low at. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if, I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him, I get it, but do you really think he killed those women? From what I saw at the open arms, everything points to Crane murdering Lily. What isn't adding up for me is Faith. Why would he kill her? It doesn't seem connected. It's completely separate murder. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. We He's, have two suspects here. He was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar. Yeah, he and was. I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. Ugh. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, 
But after tonight... Sure. It's just... When stuff hits the fan, like... Like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city. It feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Not because really. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. <laughs> He's got such uh, a bad guys, temper, you guys. We have a problem. What is it? There's I a piece missing. Finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you Time to hunt the room. Missing a piece. Yes, it's uh Buffkin, are you positive it's not here? Maybe it just slid under one of these cabinets. No, I'm sure it's not here. I checked every corner. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. The old I'm just school saying, way. Waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. Detective he had to work. have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Eh. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. Listen, Buffkin. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Buffkin. There's got to be somewhere he would go. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow blamers from. Hmm. Hmm, Colonel. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing. It's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. He's like, for real? He's like, you're not gonna kill me? Hmm? <laughs> you didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Um. Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do, yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. Okay, okay. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. I huh. <laughs> love how grumble he is. Oh, I love this. All right, let's walk around a little bit, explore. It's got to be uh, hiding something, you know. Ichabod Crane, are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents, and I have to admit I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're you're busy, but I think this should be made a priority. Best Wayland Smith. I have to grumble like like Big B. Dear Mr. Ichabod Crane, I'm writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in the apartment, and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross, and I'd really like it if you fix the air, like we asked you three months ago. Why does this sound accurate? <laughs> At the very least, provide us a fan in the meantime. Sincerely, Boy Blue. Probably not that one. <laughs> I'm like, I have to read all these letters. Mr. Crane, you said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room. As it is, and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention you've already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together, Mr. Toad. not ever do any work. Anything. Only when Cole was around. <clears throat> yeah, because Cole forced him to because he was a panicked little mess. And of course, there's the key. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. I mean, he if evidence doesn't just stagger, you don't need to know. I want to know. 
I need to know. A lot of blood and flowers. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with She's him. gonna stab Catch a motherfucker is what she's gonna do. Bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? Don't worry, Snow. We'll get him. Oh, we'll get that motherfucker. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, We're gonna give him the him. hard goodbye. <laughs> Rips the skin drawer out. Skadoosh. Let's take a look-see. I bet it's not even like an official compendium. I bet it's like a bunch of BS. There's a page here that was torn out. The ring of oh, yeah? something. Buffkin, do you know what was here? The ring of something. It's a ring, at least. <laughs> Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> he set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. Well, then we have to find it. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried. No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. He's like, look, look at that fucker. This just isn't the <laughs> like... time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> literally invested since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running and tonight i hear that crane has been killing fables and there's no system in place to catch I know. him that's what's Look, funny we know that crane is going to see a witch and it's to acquire a magic ring what's the ring we don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since crane tore its page out of the book this farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan Put you in charge in the first place. Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you are chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. There's much bigger things to be worrying about yeah. right now, right? Fucking for real. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. You're just thinking about yourself, Bluebird. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> let's be fair. I want to run this office. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. Yeah, and yeah, Buffkin. That he'll be there at two. <laughs> so that gives us... More than four a hours. A few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. 2 a.m. Piece of cake. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. No, so. chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. 
Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Jesus. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? I mean, I was gonna go get Lily's stuff, but, you know, so I could track down the witch. I mean, awful decisions. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. I mean, I imagine I have to go to all three, really. It's not like me to decide this because I want to go to Crane's apartment, but I mean, I'm already no, here. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. We're going to go to Holly. I don't need mm. sympathy and I don't need charity. Damn, I'm just not used to this. I'll go to Holly's Witch's Park. identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Card Crane's decisions. apartment. I'll check in with you later. I hope you know what you're doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just want you guys to know. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. God, I hope this works. I don't think I went this way last time. I think I went to Crane's apartment. Shit. <laughs> you believe in me? He's asleep, you fucking idiot. He didn't even give me... I need to talk to Holly. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. <laughs> These guys are so fucking wasted. Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thanks. Y yeah. I mean, we all kind of did get shot up together, I mean. After I ripped off the dude's arm, I mean, that shit ain't regrowing. I want a drink. <laughs> Anybody else want a drink? Give me a drink. Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. This guy. <laughs> and he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Mm. Yes, he did. I think I did go to his apartment Certainly the first did. time. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt <clears throat> this good in a long time, fat boy. Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. Can I go check? That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. 
Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Which is really weird because I ripped off his arm and he's like, Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I said nothing. I was like, just I let him, clear just the let him bitch. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, what? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. Fuck it. I'll indulge. To the dead. To the dead. All right, now help me. Gren. The doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! Whoa, you two, whoa! <laughs> Stop. What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. Oh, shit. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick oh. after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. Oh. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out, and you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Yeah, oh, just go. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. Grin. I think whatever happened was between them, and Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Grin. Just go. You chill out. Go lay down. <laughs> I mean, shit. They're about ready to kill each other over nothing. Nothing Grin. they can change. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room. I don't know. That's where I'm I going. I wouldn't wake her if I were you. I wouldn't wake her. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe uh, ogres too. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a day. What a fucking day. I'm just like. Grin won't remember this. I love that that was a thing that it said. He said he's too fucking drunk. I love this. I've got to find that evidence. I've got to find this witch. I remember it being amongst the things. Creative alcohol. Shit. I'm like, I guess you can wake her as an option, but why the fuck would I want to do that? Oh, I can walk around. I'm like, oh, shit. A cot. What am I examining the cot for? Oh, shit, of course it's underneath her. Hey, Holly. Can I grab that box under your arm? Thanks. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, my God. Can we just take the box out? Like, away? Uh, that you, Woody? Uh, what 
good, eh? Yeah, sure. Woody, bar's closed. And Lily ain't around anyway, so you can run off back to the woods, I guess. Damn, you guys. Still lost her sister, you know? Did you care about her at all? Of she course. was a nice girl. Ran around too much. Of course I cared. I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. Just telling her whatever she needs to hear. I kind of want to look around a little bit, but I don't want to fuck around so much that I get caught. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. But I still wish you could have been there. Me too. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he... If he cares about it, if he even gives a shit, I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. He's just... he's trying to do what's right. You think so? Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so... Uh, I guess I'll take your word for it. The music tempo is like going faster and faster now. Shit. Maybe I should have grabbed the thing instead. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Shit, oh, I guess I found it that fast. Which one? Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Get the phone. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Get the phone. Snow? Hey, I just wanted to see how it was going. Did you find anything? Just an address book with her contacts and initials. Not sure which one is the witch, though. Strange. These people keep cropping up. Before, a few days ago... Any chance you can cross-reference these with the records in the business office? Maybe track her down that way. Yeah, but who knows how long that'll take. Sure. Try going up to Crane's place. I sent Buffkin up there to check on things. Bluebeard. Or you could try at the Tweedles office. Just make it quick. We don't Shit. have a lot of time. The meeting is at two. I mean, I'll we got a great department. Apartment. See what I can find there. Sounds good. Just keep me posted. In the meantime, I'll see what I can do on this end. Okay. Good luck, Bigby. We'll find him, Snow. I hope you're right. I should have gone to Crane's apartment first. I'm like chewing my nails. I'm like nail biting. I'm like, oh man, I hope you get him. Fuck. Like, you know, like, how much time is fast? Oh shit. We only have an hour, you guys. Like 58 minutes, that's it. Clock's ticking. Bluebeard burned everything. Not everything. He burned shit? Probably on himself, of course. Arrogant fuck. <laughs> I tried to stop him, but I got here too late. <clears throat> He wouldn't listen to me. Threatened to strangle me if I got too close. Why would Bluebeard come here just to burn all of Crane's stuff? Incriminating stuff on him. I'm going right for that book. Hopefully I'll find some evidence against Bluebeard as well. What is this back here? A burned photo. Hmm? Can't see anything. Maybe there's something in the clock I can find. There was something here I could use to find him. There isn't now. What a waste of fucking time. Shit. What now? Did you find any information about the witch at the trip trap? Just this. I don't know which one she is, but it's a start. Maybe I can find more at the Tweedle's office. It's worth a try. I'd better go fill Miss White in on the circumstances. She's Crap, you guys. Very disappointed. I screwed up by coming here last. I, I think I came Good here luck. first. Dude, I screwed up bad. 
Oh my god. I should have went with my gut. I remember, like... I think I got, like, maybe 30 <clears throat> minutes if I'm, uh, if I'm lucky. Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten... I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. I think we all are, You know, bro. Crane, uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? I was hoping to have a talk with D or Dum. Do you know where they are? No, they don't really keep regular hours as far as I can tell. Sorry. Hmm. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. Hmm. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. Oh, how I convenient. Can if you want, you can wait for them there. Sure. That sounds, well, that sounds like a plan, yeah. No problem. Thanks, bro. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't he's like, really asking for permission. Yeah, he's like, I'm just gonna right. fucking do You're it. the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. He's like, man, I'm I don't sure want to go far. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Don't worry. I won't get you in trouble, all right? Right. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. What's that about? A coded they message? They have their quirks. Ugh. Random lollipop box? Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dumb. Couple of freaks. It's coded messages. <sighs> this is pointless. Like they're well, talking about. These guys can come let's go after the wolf. Of at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem, and they'll do their best to fix it. The way D explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know. Or who? All mm -hmm. kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Uh huh. Keep talking, Flycatcher. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, Flycatcher. Whatever you say, bro. Whatever you say. You okay. know about this? Nah, uh, no. He's like, I just sweep, bro. Hey, what's this? Let's see if they got a file on Crane. Crane, yeah. I got Cinderella and Beauty and all of them. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How was he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Crane hired them to look for a photo? Why did he want it back so badly? Exactly. What could have been so incriminating? So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. To find a fucking photo, See, you guys. I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. I haven't found anything yet. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great. They helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. He's so angry, you guys. Who the hell's Brannigan? Detective Brannigan. Keep an eye on her. Oh yeah, the the detective from like the second chapter or whatever. Cinderella, huh? 
somewhere in Europe. Hmm. Possible plot device. I'm just throwing that out there. For the second one. <laughs> just saying. Oh. This is worse than I thought. Jesus. Shit. Find anything? Not what I need. Wh what, if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. What do they say? I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give them a chance. Let's get one thing straight. They are nothing like me. Bigby? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything because to Because they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They're hired guns. Hitmen. Bigby, what happened to your... Shit. You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't know. Look, Flycatcher, I, I know you like them, but they're a part of whatever is happening here. They're bad guys. I'm like legit biting my nails. <laughs> I'm like, calm down, Big Bing. I didn't mean to. There's a door behind this file cabinet. Now, I don't oh, okay. know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Yeah, I kind of need information like nowsies. Well, that key you found should work. You can say that again. See, I didn't really know that you could go to like all three places, so my brain was like, maybe I should just get a crane's apartment first, which I think is what I did last time. A book. What are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane or the witch he was using. Something. This doesn't really tell us much. What about that thing that said Crooked Man up here? I'm sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Who was he sending money to? Crooked Man. Care of the Lucky Pawn. You know what that is? Hmm. Oh yeah, we're taking it. It's Crane's money. Probably help me out in a pinch later on. Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. Mm -hmm. We still need to find that witch, though. Butcher? What is this stuff? Weird. Another package? Hey, Bigby. Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the woodlands? Since Crane let me go. I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. I don't want to work with bad people, you know? You should talk to Snow. Maybe there's something she can do for you. Really? That would be... Thank you. Yeah, man. Why not? Snow's hair. Snow White? Why? W we found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Anti-Greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. I guess Dee and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. Mm -mm. Anti-Greenleaf? 
A.G. This is it. I have to tell Snow. This is the place. There, there's a phone right over there. Thanks, Fly. Business office? I know who she is. We're going in there. We're doing it. I've been so quiet this stream, you guys. I apologize. I'm like really into this. I'm like, Baby. oh man. I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. Shit. I think I was late last this time is too. It. All right. How do you want to do this? It's probably already in and out. Honestly. How do I want to do this? about that is something wrong well pardon the intrusion I wasn't aware this was a munchkin's house well Dorothy it isn't <laughs> sharp kid <laughs> who are you Rachel who are you just so we're not strangers well I'm the sheriff and this is my partner boss Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there uh, something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. Walks right in. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. I'm starting to wonder if that okay, little girl's Sheriff, even... I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Clear as it rain. You could still be here. I mean, it looks like there's some candles lit. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Hmm. Colonel. Your mama hunter? Oh no, she never that was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No counting for taste. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, that was funny to me. Hey, your mom? <laughs> uh huh. Hmm. Colonel. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? She said, I just live here. <laughs> She's here. like, There's no one here but me. Exactly. I'm wondering if the little girl is Auntie Greenleaf. No one's been over all night. So hmm. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Because he snuck out the window. Hmm. The Butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. Hmm, this fucking girl. Getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. 
Trust me, I've tried. I'm like, I don't give two fucks. I'm opening that. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. you don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me. That guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, Sorry, don't believe you at all. You. Not one I bit. Don't wanna, I don't want to get in trouble. Well, you were lying, so what am I to do? What? Not sprightly enough? You picked the wrong night to lie to me. That's what I'm no saying. Lying, no more ring around the rosy. No more bullshit non sequiturs. You're done. It's over. You're gonna tell me what I want to know right now. All right. Start explaining. And from the beginning. None of this pathetic witchcraft crap is gonna prevent me from prying what I need from your gullet. Now tell me where Crane is. I ain't is. a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? Well, I don't want Crane's friends for enemies. If you're not protecting Crane, who are you protecting? Get this through both of your skulls. I can't tell you. The Just crooked you man. being here is bad enough. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Crane whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. I don't give a shit about your problems, Greenleaf. Just talk, now. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. And very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. Shit. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please, don't do this. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Uh... Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. Where'd he go? He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Bigby. 
Please, Sheriff. Don't. Orders are orders. Shit. I literally like, oh, they give you like a second to make a decision and I'm like, fuck! Oh, an ancient tree, like. Doomed me. Do you know that? I mean, you everything, and then you extinguish the only measure I have in this horrid world. What monsters are you? What horrible, evil, villainous, warped monsters are you? I have nothing! Nothing! You took everything from me! I have nothing! I mean, I feel pretty awful right now. <laughs> this game, like, loves to just, like, grab your spine and rip it out. Like, uh. <laughs> and And that's what I'm saying, like, I, I didn't want to follow orders, but, like... Ah, uh, like, ah. Uh. And and that too, like, I don't think I actually burned the tree last time. I think that, uh, well, no, I think I might, I might have. I think I tried to hire her or something. But I think it backfired in my face. Car. Oh shit, we're about to do this. Dude, I feel awful. I really didn't want to burn that tree. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, do you miss the spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. I'm about to smash your fucking oh, face, bro. I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Oh, that's it. Fuck it. Oh, We're doing this right fucking now. Fuck, man. Tell me what you know now. Yeah, we're done with you. It's it's time to get some blood. You can't just go in there. Fuck you, Kid Harrington, wannabe. We have a problem. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know! Mr. Crane, please, she can't help- I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. I can't, I can't! Fuck this, I'm we're sorry. doing it. I... Oh, oh it's God. over. Big B. Wait, don't! <sighs> so there's the only thing keeping me from tearing you in half. I promise you, I didn't do anything! These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I just have to get this stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. It's just... Just let me show you. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No. This will work. I assure you, it, it must. I... I went to... You... Damn you. Come on. Please. Tell me who killed her! My lips are sealed. Hmm. <laughs> they literally can't talk because of magic. It's it's so fucking wrong, dude. How many years? <laughs> what? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. But... I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with it. We'll that. talk about it downtown. I just, I, it just... Oh, God. What happened to you? Are you always like this? Not blink card. It started as most things do. Very, very small. Nothing more than a thought. But I didn't kill that woman. And then who did? There was blood on the bed. It was your room. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Fuck. Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He's desperate. He wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. What do you mean? You don't think he did it at all? If you'd seen the room... I don't need to see the room. There's a lot he has to answer for. There's a lot we all have to answer for. That's probably true. There's a difference, Snow, and you know it. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? Yeah, I do, sadly. For so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? This fuck up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't. Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. 
Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? I agree. We'll find out who did it soon enough. Just trust us, Vivian. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Oh, there's no way to pay. Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. She's like, you fuck. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. And for suspicion of murder. No, Sheriff. You don't get to pick when to listen to me. Just because you did what I asked back at Greenleaf's doesn't give you the right to act now without restraint. You have to respect this office, Bigby, and you have to respect me as its leader, starting now. Okay, so now I'm gonna need you to calm that down you a little bit. What it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the gotcha. She, wa she wasn't that way in the uh, previous playthrough. I could honestly. with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return, it's so be it. I have no regrets. Yeah, see, the thing of it is, we're better at this than you are. Start walking, fucker. She, she's, she was that way a little bit, but I think that I disobeyed her enough to where she started seeing my side. But right now I'm just blindly following her orders and I shouldn't be. I, I think I did try to reason with the witch. But I was kind of on a warpath the first time I played this. I was really pissed when I was playing this game. Like, I was going through a lot in my personal life, and I just started wrecking people. And then the game just, like, chewed me up and spat me out, and I was like, oh, man, my feels right now. Preposterous schemes. What are you saying? I remember this part. This, this is the one part I remember the most. I don't remember what to do here, though. We're really gonna do this, Tweedledee and Tweedledum? <clears throat> Hi. Oh. What you got there? Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're... How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. I don't know why I said what, what do you, do you want? want. That sack of flour. Crane, dear. It's Crane. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee. What's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? The Butcher. What? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody, Bloody Ma Mary. That's it. Oh, Thank shit. You. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. <laughs> And I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. You can fuck off if you think you're getting him. I told you he'd never just give him up. You can suck my charity set. I'll kill all three of you, I don't give a fuck. I mean... Fuck it. Oh, please let me... 
shit, that was quick. Shit! Fuck! Shit! Shit, dude! Shit! Oh my god, you poor bastards. Oh yeah, just gotta get up. Shit, this is happening. Oh shit. Tear them up. God, tear them up. Let me leap. Let me bounce. Let me do something. Kill him just yet. Like put me fucking down. It was a good show, but you know, I just didn't know when to end. Oh shit! You know, you didn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf, but as it turns out, it's just. Ch -ch 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 right, Wolfie? Ugh. I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys. <laughs> can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. Oh, fuck. Wait! Stop! Dude, we're in a bad way right Just now, you guys. Take him. Okay? Take Crane. Just stop. Please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Snow. Don't do this. I saw red eyes. It's your lucky day, kid. Is there another wolf? The man says it's okay with him. I really don't remember the plot. From here on, I don't remember shit. Hello, Got a stomach ache? I just remember the ending. Oh, and just between us girls? Crane ain't no kill. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Kinda like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a twin stay. 
No, I just don't have to kill him. Well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm just about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. Fucking hell, you guys. It, like, pumped him so full of silver he couldn't even fucking move. Shit, you guys. <laughs> Shit. Snow ended up coming around, though, in, uh, in my playthrough. But she was a little intense there at first, and I was just blindly following orders like I normally do. Like any lost puppy dog. <laughs> He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Hmm. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to... Um... About last night? My lips are sealed. After what they did to you, are you even gonna be able to stop them? Oh, yeah. Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point. Do you? Ah, oh, fucking hell, dude. Awesome. Let's take a look at these numbers. So me and 80.7% of players decided not to interrupt Snow during the eulogy. Oh, 40% of players went to the Trip Trap far, uh, bar first. 39% went to Crane's office, which I normally do. And then 19 went to Tweedledee and Tweedledum's office. Uh, me and 96.1% of players offended a offered a job. I don't know why I said offended. Offered a job to a flycatcher. Uh, me and 20.5% of players burned Greenleaf's tree, which I think I did in my original playthrough, if I'm honest. And me and 55.8% of players showed Tweedledum mercy. Barely half, you guys. Barely half. And that's it for episode three, you guys, of The Wolf Among Us. Uh, man, oh man, that got really intense for me. I was like, oh, I'm over here, like, quiet, biting my nails, like, oh, shit. Like... <laughs> Holy crap, I love this game. Uh, obviously, next week, I'll be back next Thursday for Telltale's Thursdays. Telltale Thursdays, as I call them, uh, for episode four of The Wolf Among Us. Um, I've got a couple games lined up, Telltale-wise, afterwards. Which, Paz, I meant to ask you. Um, I, I, I played Telltale's Batman Season 1 um, a long time ago. It was the first thing I ever streamed, actually. Um, I thought about replaying it, but I just got Season 2, and I was going to play Season 2 and just play through it. Uh, do you guys, would you guys mind if I just played season two or should I replay season one? You guys leave the comments down below. Cause I'll replay it. I haven't. I mean, let's be fair. <laughs> I've also got, uh, several of like all the Walking Dead games, all of them. So, so I've got plenty of Telltale games, obviously. Um, I'll be streaming all day tomorrow. Uh, today I kind of just took the day off, went and got a haircut. Um, kind of watched your stream, Baz, more than anything. Two is fine. Listen to you. She's like, just jump in it. It's okay. Um. <laughs> looks at looks at messages. So ridiculous. But uh, but now um, uh, I'll probably be streaming pretty much all day tomorrow. Probably some uh Sunday night since I think I'll be coming home Sunday night. I'll be I'll be off uh Saturday and Sunday, uh just kind of away for the day uh spending with, spending the day with my girlfriend let's be fair and then monday through friday next week i'm gonna be gaming hard as life you guys i got a lot of games lined up i already know what i'm playing after i beat uh spyro 3 i know what i'm playing after i beat that stranding i've got a lot of games lined up and if last of us gets pushed back i've got something in place just in case for that as well let's be fair yeah i'm coming back sunday night probably uh but i'll be streaming all day tomorrow and then uh, probably sometime, uh, I'm probably gonna spend Saturday and Sunday with my girlfriend, let's be fair. Until then, until next time, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, obviously next time we'll be playing episode four next Thursday on Telltale Thursdays here, uh, in Sheep's Clothing. 
um, join me there. Uh, if you like what you see, hit the follow button, hit that bell, you guys, for notifications. Um, I'm Phenomenal2 here on Twitch, where you can catch me live. You can watch all my my replays, pretty much, on uh, on my YouTube channel, Phenomenal. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, at Phenomenal2, where you'll find out all my schedule, when I'll be streaming, pretty much, because uh, I try to I try to post a couple days in advance. Sometimes it's just a day in advance. Um, if you like my beautiful, shiny, wonderful logo, uh, follow at LadyWitchFox on Twitter. She's the one who... Uh, did my amazing amazing artwork uh and that'll do it you guys have a great night i'll be back in a in a couple minutes with um another episode of spyro uh year of the dragon because i'm just hooked i'm just gonna keep playing that probably until super late in the night before i you know start reading the witcher finally <laughs> you guys have a great one watch some tv shows play some video games for me and as always stay phenomenal stay frosty